Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On the last episode, we uh, headed over to Tekix, the largest city on the planet Vold, to go see what uh, the Angara want or if they want us to do anything over there, also turn in some missions that we've already completed. Uh, after clearing that place out, we headed outside, tried to get a, try to get a, a, uh, a cache that was on top of Tekix, but it wasn't there. Tried to jump off the mountain, but we couldn't do that. And then, uh, ran into a Ket ambush that had been planned by Angar and Resistance, so we helped out with that. But, we decided that we were gonna make our way over to the vault this episode. So, we're close. Uh, map. The vault is right here. And I don't know if it's going to be as long as the Eos vault. Eos vault is currently the largest. Havarl vault was not. <laughs> Havarl vault was basically two rooms. I think Vold is a little longer, but I, you know, honestly, I cannot remember anything about it. Detecting below normal temperatures. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm also still currently trying to work out the mechanics on my new microphone. <laughs> I feel like every episode since Sunday has been like, this one's too loud, this one's too soft, this one's too loud, this one's too soft. And I can't find the balance, so hopefully it sounds good this time. I, I tinkered with it a little bit, but we'll just have to wait and see. I did a test recording before this. It sounded all right. Oh, I almost touched my microphone. I feel like if I would have done that, I might have accidentally muted the audio. Hold on. Okay, there's a there's a piece of dust on it. Right, well, there's one of the monoliths we activated a couple episodes ago. The only one left. Well, I mean, we we got them all. We just need to get to the vault. I'm I've been trying to remember how the vault is like. What happened in the vault? I can't remember what happens in any vault. What's going on with the textures in front of me? That's not a mountain in front of me. Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, that could be there. I'm hearing a cat vehicle. I don't see a cat vehicle. Or it could just be like ominous music coming from the vault itself. All right, well, let's get a good look at how Eos looks now. Eos, uh, Vold looks now, because as soon as, uh, as soon as we enter this vault, it, we're not going to see it the same way again. It's going to look a little different when we emerge, which hopefully will happen this episode. I mean, I don't see this going past this episode. My only hope is that it's warm. Well, it still says cold level hazard one, so unfortunately it's not warm yet. Maybe if we go, maybe if we go downstairs. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. Okay. Remnant Vault. Let's get this place up and running. Oh, it says level two. It says level two. I'm really cold. Oh, the button prompt went away? Okay. Well, we turned the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. That will affect your shield. Are you sure? It looks like it's heating me right now. It's keeping me nice and warm. Okay, so we're getting massive, uh, massive. We're getting Metroid Prime 2 echoes, uh, signals here, where stay inside the bubbles and you'll be safe from the environment. <laughs> this is dark aether. 
Thank God there's a bubble up there. Oh, I gotta check behind this place. Okay. We had this issue in Mass Effect 1 when we played it. Uh, audio? <laughs> Everything's breaking. What's going on? There's glitches on the ground and the textures. The audio is now completely gone, which is not good. Hold on. I, I need to fix. I must fix. Let me let me just save the game here, and we'll see what that we'll we'll see what happens when I get back. Uh, one moment, please. All right, I'm back. Uh, it took a lot longer to reset than I thought because the second time I tried reloading it, the game crashed. I don't know why I'm having so many issues with uh with the game. I've never had this much issues before. It's because I'm recording. That's why. <laughs> that's the whole reason why. I also decided to put the disc version in because I was using the EA Play version. Oh, there is a container down here. Good thing to check. We do have to find out where the Rem Tech thing is. Oh. There's going to be a thing full of Rem Tech somewhere. It's a good thing I don't have to worry about PB or Jal being warm or cold. I just need to worry about Ryder. All right, let's get this activated. Ooh, doors open. Whoa, I can already see the uh, see the thing. Oh, don't tell me it's this short again. After everything I've been doing for the past ten minutes, getting things reset up, I don't. I don't want the reset to be longer than than the than the vault. What's oh, something over there? The scan. Observer replication control. Ooh, what does that mean? Interface to invert their perception of threats. Where do I interve intervene? Hmm. It's still cold. Oh, which way do I go? Do I go that way or do I go that way? Can I go that way? Oh, it's currently set to that. What's over there, though? Let's take a look at the map. Okay. So, I think this is the entire vault, then. Because we see the beam over here. Yeah, that's that's back to the surface. So this is the whole vault. If we go to the right, it'll lead us over here. Which leads us this way, leads us that way. That's a path that goes up to here. And I think that from here we can jump over here. There's also something right here. And there's this section right here. Which might be where we go if we go left. Uh... Support at 100%. Okay, don't take a jump. Don't fall. Oh, some some part of this is coming back in my mind, but I don't remember what. I'm trying to remember. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go this way first. The problem is I don't see a thing over there. Also, I'm still in the cold. Okay, there's a bubble over here. Good. Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. It's a remnant console. This goes. A temperature drop. Oh, look at all the remnant consoles. Holy crap. Okay, 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 okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm seeing like 12. Oh boy. Oop, I don't know why I did that last jump there. Okay, I've hit level. I've hit level. Not good. I'm seventy-five percent. Is there anything down there? No. Ooh, I just realized as soon as I start this, as soon as I start this, the heat's gonna go out because it's powered up currently. Did that even do anything? Maybe. What was up there? Okay, that was just a thing. Wait, what did I just turn on? What is this? There's something on here. 
Oh, don't want to miss this. Let me grab this. I still, I forgot. Ah, oh, I love, I love when I tell lies, and I, it's, it's just something that I, I haven't done, which was go through my, go through my stuff and see what I need. All right, what's going on? What's going on today? My Xbox is acting up super weird. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what's going on with my Xbox or the game, but literally this has never happened before, and now I'm frightened that something's wrong. So we're gonna do this quick, I hope. I've reset everything. I did grab the thing. Uh, the autosave did pop me back up to before I opened that chest. So I actually got some new stuff. It, ooh, ooh, what's going on? Why did it start freezing again? You saw it freeze there, right? Oh no. My only hope is that the footage doesn't get corrupted now. It shouldn't, because it's not being recorded through from the Xbox, but something's going weird. All right, hold on. Let's uh, let's just start this. Let me ch let me check something. Someone, uh, I was just trying to like do some my some very very quick uh, troubleshooting, and apparently there might be something with the audio that's causing an issue. So I'm gonna turn the NES effects a little bit. I don't know how the SFX can cause uh, consoles to crash. Anything goes, I guess. I don't know. I think I wanted that down. And then three was, I think, this one over here that got powered up. We picked up the thing over there. Powering up this one. And uh, you know what? If I get too cold, I can just reset. I can turn, turn one, like flip one back on over there. And uh, ooh. Everything will be still set the same way it was before. Like so. Ooh, okay, get my life support back up. Okay, everything up till... Okay, this is one, two, three, four. And there's like 12, I think, around here. Oh, boy, there's a lot. All right, let's restart this. One, two, three, and four should all be set. From audio cut out, okay. What happened? Why'd the audio cut out? Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what's happening. It's giving me a headache. I've recorded for over 40 minutes now, and I have like 12 minutes of footage. All right, okay, all right. So, first things first. Sam says that he's highlighted all the ones we need to power up. So, like this one, that one, obviously. Uh, some of these are not needed, like this. Uh, I guess. Hold on. I'm a liar. He said he'll highlight the ones, but I guess all of them can turn on. But. We just need to get certain ones powered up until we find a way to turn whatever's on, on. Let's turn this back over. Cause I need to get to this one up here. And from this one, I could power up. Ooh, that, was, that was quite a lot in a row there. Ooh, goody, there we go. Oh boy, it's getting cold. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, we got the running core. Nice. That wasn't correct though, because we need to get one powered up over here. Basically, I mean, here's what here's the thing. In each vault, there is supposed to be a very, very hard to get. Uh, remnant tech. I mean, not the one that's hidden behind like a shield or something. There's supposed to be like another one. We got it in Vold. It was part of that big. It was right by the tree. Uh, in Havarl, technically it wasn't in the vault, and we haven't got it yet. But when we go back to Havarl, we'll be able to pick it up. Uh, so I'm trying to pick it up now, and we have to get the correct one of these consoles activated. I think it's this one. Basically, just find out which one is pointing up over there somewhere, and we're good.
Also, I think... Oh, yep, that one also... Ooh, we also need that one, so that's good. I think we're done here. We're not. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not done yet. You're a liar. It's good now, but we're still missing something. I'm trying to find out how to power it up. This one leads over there. This one leads... Where does this one initially go? Did my phone just turn off? I think my phone just turned off. I need to go to the one next to it. Go to that one. Oh boy, it's getting cold. If I can find the connection that goes to that one right there, we'll be good. We already got the two things we can get here, but there should be another one that we can get. Also, whatever is... Whatever we did for to go that way, we need to reset when we leave. We're powering up this. This one currently is not attached to anything, so switch that one over there. Cross up all of that. That goes... It's over there. Oh, we got that already. Okay. Still good, still good. This one isn't connected to anything, so that's a dead end. Alright, so we go back up to here. Switch this because this one's also a dead end. One of these goes over here. Oh god, life support low. Nice. <sighs> this episode's gonna be a nightmare to edit. I can't wait. I... <laughs> oh no. Alright. Let's count how many times I have to reset. The sooner I get this vault done, the sooner whatever's going on with the game will hopefully cease. Okay, powered this, which is... Top bar's currently sent to off. Hmm. If I flip that, that goes over there. If I flip this, it goes to that machine right there. Which goes to this one over here. This is the good one. Let me flip this now and see what happens. Bet we can reach that if we poke around. We're gonna reach that quickly. Hold on, let me turn this. Life support levels are critically low. Yeah, that structure isn't powered up again, but we'll get over there now. That's the first goal. We need to we we need to get that. Then we need to turn it back on so it points back Life over there. Is stable. All right. <laughs> After this episode's over, I'm gonna uninstall Mass Effect and uh, reinstall it and hope that it works. Because we've, we've only been having audio issues with Mass Effect. We've played, we played numerous Xbox games over like the last year and a half that we've had the Series X. But the only one that's, that's had like audio issues where it mutes has been this game. And it's only been on Vold. Oh boy. Man, the open here. Wow. Okay. I haven't hit a shot in a while. Stay alert. There'll be more. I think I see one over there. No, that's just a that's just a heating thing. Look at this. Look at this thing right here. Remnant data core. Another one of these boxes. They're all over. See? 
the remnant data core task that we're doing? Yeah, we have to do that from here. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Pick these up. Uh, you know what? While we're over here, let's head up. Because there's no point in going up after this. There's a door here. Currently not powered. Pathfinder, this may affect your escape from the purification field. Well, it looks like Sam's looking out for me. This door hasn't opened. But we should be able to find a way to open it up, right? Is detected, Pathfinder. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. I might have to reset everything that happened over there. I mean, we got to anyway, so let's do that quickly. I don't think there was a line that went all the way to the door, though. This dungeon's giving me headaches, and it's not the puzzles. <laughs> it's it's everything involving the game itself. I mean, okay. To be fair, the game isn't... Oh, there it goes again. The game isn't the most well put together compared to, like, the original three. But even then, I didn't start having these issues until I started recording this game. And I've played through Mass Effect Andromeda for quite a long time. The audio cut out again. <laughs> Let me save the game, and then I'll reset. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back over here uh, because when uh, when I when I tried to restart the game, my Xbox crashed. I reloaded the game, and my save got corrupted. <laughs> Luckily, there was an audio an auto save that happened right here. So this is after I defeated those those remnant and. Uh, Started making my way back, so I'm having, f I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Ugh. I can't remember the last time I've been really angry while recording a video. I think the angriest I've been. Oh God, what is it? It's either a Kingdom Hearts super boss. Or it was Bulasis, because Bulasis still makes me upset. Just how stupid and long the fight took. It didn't need to take that long. All right, I need to I need to reactivate the correct one again. Flip that, and then I flip this. All right, I think that's all I needed to do. So how do I get through this door up here? I think there was a I think there was a console I missed. I'm taking advantage of the fact that nothing bad's happened in the last five minutes. Five? Okay, never mind. I looked at the timer. It's only been a minute and a half. <laughs> this is this is gonna be the uh, the the ship of Theseus episode with. So many re-recordings and so many cuts I have to make. It's like it's like I'm finally doing a montage or a best bits episode, except it's the whole episode. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Alright. There is this. I don't know how we missed this. I'm afraid that it's one of the beefier sound effects that's happening with the remnant stuff. But it happened outside. Heads up, big guys ahead. This is not a good place to fight. There's no, there's no warmth here. Oh, that's what you meant by big guy. Ooh, that's what you meant by big guy. Get rid of the smaller one. I think. I think there's a bubble of heat in the back. There certainly is. All right, hold on. I think this, oop, this requires some uh, disruptor ammo to get rid of the shields.
Alright, time to time to book it, time to book it, time to book it. I don't like the, I don't like the low ammo. Gotta remember the turrets count first. Oh, there goes one of them. Hey, the destroyer's shields are gone. I think its weak point is, I mean, the giant red glowy spot in its face. Let's be fair. I'm glad that Jell and PB are taking all of the hits, <laughs> and that I'm just allowed to, I'm just allowed to stand back and get warm. I think it just died. Nope, Jell's, Jell's down. Jell's back up, and I leveled up. What do we have here? We got some skill points to go put in. Oh, speaking of which, I did level up. Since <laughs> so, you know, I'm having issues with my audio. I'm having issues with my storage. In in game in game storage, and I'm having issues with uh, Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable leveling up my characters. Leveled up my characters finally. Ooh, do I have all the pieces? I do. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. We have to work this out. This has to be this, because it can't go here. Because it has to go up here somewhere. Which means this is whatever's left. That one. No. That one. Okay. So if that is not the circle, this one has to be the circle. Which means this is that one. Which means this is whatever's left. Haha. -ha. See, we're doing good. Which means this is that. This has to be the L. L goes here. See, that wasn't so bad. Look at that. We solved it. Did I solve it? I solved it. That did it. Okay, so that was like the one that was in Havarl, where it was just a puzzle that to complete. If you completed the puzzle, you got some extra skill points for, for Ryder. So, we got the data core. We got the skill points. All we need now is the rem tech that's hidden behind, like, the, the locked door. The problem is, haven't seen a locked door yet. <laughs> Mostly because the game keeps on crashing on us, so we haven't had the chance. Oh no. Oh no. Why now? Game, please. No. No. Okay. I don't know why it crashed when I pick up the items. Uh, we lasted seven minutes between crashes there. All right. See how long we go now. All I did was pick up ammo and picked up items from the remains of the destroyer, which I'm not going to do, even though it looks like it despawned itself, so there, I don't have to. I don't have to worry this time. I was trying to say is that if we go down here now Ooh, we got a nullifier here ahead. well oh god oh Ooh. over here is a door that's closed are we being chased right now This door is locked. There is a way to open it. Remnant barrier. Oh, as we can see, there's a line that's pointing all the way from that machine over there. Oh, God. Why did I pick this up? Huh. <sighs> I got so afraid that the game would crash again. Just let me get over here. I 
I think I, I, I need to reset just for peace of mind. I need I need to I need to reset the whole download. Luckily, I'll be able to keep my save file, and I'll probably upload it to the cloud just to be on the super, the super duper safe side. Oh, there's a lot of red dots all of a sudden. I keep them coming. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, that's my face. My precious modeling career. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Well, this is currently not powered up and powering up anything, so let's turn that. That's good. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Hey, I want to... Why can't I vent my shotgun, huh? I can hear the Mass Effect 1 vent load sound effect. Oh, no. Do I dare? Do I dare pick up remains? Eh. Another blasted tree. Ooh, heat. I've never been so happy to see heat before. And ammo. Okay, so we're super duper close to the the uh, the vault power cache. Temperatures are below freezing. We just need to cross that. However, first things first, we did just open up a door behind us. So let's go take a quick peek at that. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support. Okay, the audio cut out. I, let's hold on, hold on. Ooh, I need to get to a heat. Let's, you know, let's go back. Let's go back. You know, we did have an issue with the audio for like the voice lines not starting. Maybe that could be a reason why there's some certain audio issues happening. Because you know, I just noticed that Sam's line there lasted a lot longer than normal. All right, <laughs> let me save the game. Don't corrupt this save file. And I'll be right back. Okay, the audio, the save file corrupted again. Uh, luckily, there was another audio save that, I keep on saying audio save, auto save that happened like moments prior. So we're good. We don't have to refight everything here. Now let's go check the door. At least we're reaching like five, six minute segments where, where uh, the game's not screwing up. But boy, I really hope this isn't a thing for the rest of the series. Uh-oh. Well, looky here. Look at this right here. I pressed the wrong jump button. That was my fault. Remtech. Bet we can grab it on the way back. I will add this map to your interface, Pathfinder. Here's what I'm so scared of, that the audio issues are gonna happen during the escape. So we're gonna we're gonna miss some dialogue. It could happen. It totally will happen too. I might, want, I might want to save before going in and then just reset for the safe of it. Because we've been going for a go, like a good two minutes now. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Alright, you know what? Let's see. Is there a fight here? There's enemies here. Ooh, there's a nullifier here. Alright. Oh. Good fire combo. I think I destroyed that assembler that was right next to it, too. Oh, there's a second moment. Ow. I hit Jaw in the back. Aha. You can't shoot me if you don't see me. Oh, she sees me. You're so lucky that I'm right next to some ammo. Well, I'm super in the area. I've been trying to. I don't know if there's anything else around here that's uh Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else around here that I have to worry about. You know, we did have that We did have that weird part where like I was trying to when we were heading off to Vol everything that's gone wrong 
has happened since we left Havarl. We haven't had any tech issues before then. Because like when we tried to go to when we tried to go to Vold, I had that crash happen with uh, the loadout setup at the beginning. Then everything that's happened uh, this episode with some audio issues we've been having recently. Okay, well, I fear an audio crash is about to happen really super duper soon. So I'm just gonna. I think we've given. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. I don't think there's anything else around here. Except for some remains. So all we have left to do is activate the vault and then. Get out of here. So let's see. Our escape path is... I think it's too far to jump off this way. Which would be ideal. So our path would have to be going that way, going through there, crossing the chasm right there, head, grab the rem tech, immediately turn back around and go that way, head to the front door, get up the stairs, Activate the vault from there, and we're we're good. So let's see if we can do that. Although, hold on. Let me get to the save point. Save my game twice and see if both saves crash this time. All right, hold on. Waiting for the symbol to go away. Life support is stable. Symbol's, symbol's gone. Second manual save just to be on the safe side. All right, we'll be right back, and hopefully this time, no audio issues. Okay, both saves crashed. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start this, hope for the best, and hope that the audio does not mute uh, from here to there. So I can, I can, you know, have a panic attack later. Okay, get ready to run. Here it comes. Okay, we got the fusion mod of the of the of the vault, and also it looks like the vault reset the temperature to uh, safe everywhere, which is going to be good for us. But we just need to get to the rem tech. Just get to the rem tech. Oh, we're just going to ignore them. Why would we? Why would we stick with them? Oop! Hurry up! Oh God! The lightning! The lightning's close! Hey there, bud. How's it going? Pardon me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ignore. Just, just gonna ignore. Oh, it was a awful time to uh to fall. I'm still being shot at, so my shields haven't recharged. Ow! Can I put my gun away? Activate, activate, activate. Man, never gets less terrifying. Let's get out of here. Oh, the audio is fine. The audio is fine. My voice, though. Oh, did I just get too close to the microphone? Oh, that's going to be loud. <laughs> First, I'm dealing with microphone issues all week. Now I'm dealing with this game refusing to load the audio at certain points. I hate it. What if it's my what if it's the new thing I downloaded? Uh I gotta look into that. I gotta see if that's the issue. It can't be the issue, because it's Let's just get up. Let's see how Vold looks now. We've reset the planet. We have 69%, nice, towards uh, viability here. We have another cryo point to go spend. <laughs> and our strike teams have probably been waiting for us for decades at this point. So level one. How does the new Vold look? Wow, it's so not cloudy anymore. And it's green. Look at that. Air temperature has increased by 13 degrees since activating the vault. With the reduced cloud cover, solar energy will escalate dramatically. Our people can start a life here. Yeah, it looks like we're in uh, hazard level one. 
the entire time. Unless we were that already. We might have been. It might have just been hazard level 2 around the resistance base so that you wouldn't go wandering around there before entering the Nomad. But yeah, we're at 69%. We're 1% away from being able to to start an outpost. But you know what? That's probably for the best because we kind of... I kind of don't want to start the outpost now. Remove the heart optional. Ooh, the catch shield. We probably should look at that, huh? Nils Assisti is helping you decrypt the password for the cat operation system. The medical supplies, travel to the earth's ruins, investigate the cat base. Well, I'm going to fast travel here. That was the most annoying episode to record in a long time. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't even. Uh, okay, well, this was an episode. <laughs> oh, boy. I've been recording for almost an hour and a half. I can't wait to see how long the episode actually is. Uh, so... Well, I mean, at least Vold is back to normal. Well, it'll it's starting to get back to normal. We've set it on its course now. It'll take a couple centuries before it's back back to normal, but at least for now we can enjoy that the weather is not going to try and kill us all the time as much as it was before. And it's a nice green color. And look, the Aurora Borealis. That was a weird... Uh, okay, all right. Okay, game. Yeah, I need to reset. Something Something's happening with the game, and that shouldn't happen. So... On the next episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, hopefully by then I've reset my game and I've sold whatever I don't need so that I at least have some audio, some some space again. But I think we'll be heading off to either the Ket base or the Ket shield that was over here and see which one is uh, more important. Deal with this whole Ket situation while we're here just to help the Resistance off out, why not? And then we'll go rescue the Moshai and then we'll be done with Vold for quite a, quite a bit after that. So... Until next time, hopefully you enjoy.